Hello and welcome to Heartrepreneur TV. I am your co-host Velma Gallant and I'm super excited to have you here today. We have a very special guest today with a very special topic and I know you're going to get a lot of value from it. How coaches can drive client attraction by getting on more stages. I mean, it makes sense from a, like just a pure logical perspective, but I wanna give you the really good information so you can actually make it happen. So today's guest is Jackie. Oh, I forgot to ask you how to pronounce your last name. <laughs> Lappin. Lappin, okay. Jackie Lappin's mission is to help leaders, entrepreneurs, coaches and authors find security find and secure their next clients by getting in front of more audiences faster. Her speaker Tunity, the speaker and leader resource company, has researched hundreds of thousands of speaker lead contacts and has curated them to meet the needs of leaders who grow their businesses through speaking. Jackie's internationally acclaimed conscious media relations radio and podcast tours have helped nearly 275 luminaries, leaders, filmmakers, and authors grow their businesses, sell more books, create viewership, and change more lives by introducing them to up to 9,000 radio stations and podcasts. Yes, that's what I said, 9,000 shows and podcasts. And I know there's a ton out there, so I am sure that those numbers are growing rapidly. Is that right, Jackie? Yes, ma'am, they are. And that's just the core group of our list. You know, we have specialty lists, you know, relationships and uh, business and uh, parenting and all kinds of other. So they just, they just keep proliferating. Awesome. We've already got people showing up here. Hello, Madeline. And hello, Regina some really lovely ladies that hang out in Heartrepreneurs with Terry Levine. I love them. So, okay. So I know that you, you support a lot of leaders, speakers, authors, um, coaches, and that kind of thing. Why is it, how is it that you got started with what you're doing today? What inspired you to head in this direction? Well, we've been doing the radio podcast tours for about 12 years. And about six or seven years ago, and, and, we, and we serve all kinds of luminaries, anybody whose work improves one's life, one's business, or the planet. And, um, you know, Don Miguel Ruiz, Ariel Ford, James Twyman, Joe Vitale, Chris and Jano, and a lot of other folks. And um, about five years ago, some of them came to me and said, can you book me for speaking gigs? And we said, we don't want to do that, but we know where they are. Why don't we just tell you? And that's how Speakertunity was born we started out serving the transformational leader by assembling the kinds of speaking opportunities that would be beneficial to them. Things like local, local meetings, conferences, TEDx's, spiritual centers, retreats, bookstores, uh, associations, et cetera, into one directory. And that's called Speaker Tunity Speaker Leads. And it continues today. Um, you know, we've been, we've been, our subscription services now serve about 500 people. And then we started to grow. We went, we added um, radio shows and podcasts, and then we added virtual summits, and then we added um, our uh, virtual networking directory and our TEDx directory. And now um, we've just launched, uh, we're in the process of launching a new conference service so that you can find the conferences. So we continue to look for ways to serve leaders by making it easier on them. We call Speaker Tunity one-stop shopping for the speaker. So we've wrapped it up all in one place. So if you want training, if you want speaker one sheets, all of those things are here at your disposal so that you don't have to do it. And then the last thing is people kept saying to us, well, I'm a busy coach. I don't have time to go out and do this. We need somebody to do it for us. So we have a new strategic partner book for you, virtual assistants, that'll go out and get those. Well, you get hand them the our lead systems, whether it's regional leads or niche leads or one of our subscription services. And they will actually then follow up on those and try to get you those speaking opportunities. So we, we are looking to um, we know how how much you would rather be working either with your clients or on stages. So we're basically taking all that rest of that off your shoulders. I love that. And I love that. I mean, what, what I heard is, is it was a continuous process of giving more value each and every time that a new opportunity showed up. And so, and, and pivot, not pivoting, but um, 
like just encompassing more as the world started to change and more opportunities came up. I really love what you guys are doing there, especially with like bringing in the possibility of, you know, that virtual assistant support, because like you said, those speakers, coaches, authors, and everybody that are out there doing their work, want to be doing their work. They don't want to be, um, you know, we had had that discussion the other day. It's like living in somebody else's um, area of expertise. You don't want to be doing it. Their zone of genius. That's their zone of genius. You want to stay in yours. Well, and these people are trained just to go after speaking gigs. They're not general virtual assistants. So, mm -hmm. you know, for me, I say I follow God's breadcrumbs. Um, as I hear a need, then I go and try to follow up. What can we provide that fills that need? When people said to us, we love speaker to speaker leads, but we want more business leads and we want more in our own markets. Well, that's when we created Speaker Tunity Cities Regional Speaker Lead Directories. We have 75 markets in the U.S. and Canada, mm. with up to 3,000 speaker leads in any one market. And then with how everything proliferated virtually, we realized that you could be speaking anywhere. So what if we just gave you all the speaking gigs in your niche? And that's how we created Speaker Tunity Speaker Specialties. So you could just, if you didn't want a lot of variety, or you just wanted, didn't want to be speaking close to home, you wanted just your sector because that's where you make your money, well, we've made it easy for you to get those speaker leads. I love that. And and especially with what's going on over the last couple of years, everybody there's a lot of virtual opportunities. And so it just opens it up wide. I love what you said there about follow God's breadcrumbs. <laughs> I know that you have a book and so you are an author. And so you really are deeply connected to your target market. I am. Um, I, I wrote two books, um, The Art of Conscious Creation, How You Can Transform the World, and Practical Conscious Creation, Daily Techniques to Manifest Your Desires. And that second book was the best spiritual book of the year at the International New Age Trade Show. And that, funnily, is really what transformed my life. Because before that, I'd had one of the largest sports special events in cable TV, cable TV PR agencies in America, started as one of the first women sports writers. And um, when I wrote these two books and they were coming out right around the time of the secret, I, I guess the universe gave a lot of us the same messages very at about the same time. I realized that my heart lay with the people that were making the world a better place. The media had changed. Mm. That wasn't where I wanted to be anymore. I wasn't I wasn't interested in delivering my messages for my clients on social media. I wanted to really serve a community of people that were heart based. And so that's when I rebranded. I have two companies, actually. One is Conscious Media Relations, which is the one that does the radio podcast tour. And so I rebranded and just served that market. And then I told you how Speaker Tunity evolved out of that. Um, and so for me, I am here. I believe that I'm, I'm serving um, uh, the, the, mess, the messages that I've been delivered to give to the world. But the other part of that, path that fork is the universe has said go out and stand for all those who need to deliver their own messages facilitate mm. that and together we can change the world and that's basically what i see my mission as absolutely i got boost goosebumps with that because it's it's so interesting to see where you came from the message that came in and how they merge together into the, into the beautiful um, service that you provide inside of the two the two organizations, the Conscious Media Relations and the Speaker Tunity. I love that name, Speaker Tunity. That is so Thank much you. fun. So, okay. So you support people with live and virtual speaking. You support them with maximizing their visibility in podcasts and getting booked inside of virtual summits, TEDx's. Like you really broadly create opportunities or, or present opportunities for people. So when it when it comes to these things, have you noticed where there is? Uh, um, 
So, so let's say, let's say I'm kind of new to this. Is is there one direction that you would recommend that I start, or is or is, should it be like a pronged approach? Well, actually, there's two places that I would recommend um, so focusing. The first is podcasts are a great way in the door because you essentially have an audience that is right in your target. There are gazillions of podcasts probably in your sweet spot. I mean, there's over 2 million po podcasts now. Um, and so what's great about it is there isn't quite as much pressure. There isn't much st stage fright. And you also can, when you give the host a series of questions, those questions mm -hmm. a lot of time are the core of what you would be speaking about on stage anyway. So for me, for example, by the time I'd done a hundred interviews on my last book, I was so much better on stage because I basically was delivering the same presentation without the questions. And I had so rehearsed it so many times on so many podcasts, it was an easy end. So that's first. Now, if you're going to also start moving into the speaking area, I strongly recommend that you start locally. Start with the kinds of engagements that of organizations that maybe are on the ground floor that you know, that you have a relationship with, member membership organizations that you belong to, uh, chambers of commerce, um, uh, local uh, 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 service groups, whatever it might be that's within your neighborhood. And then you can go into more advanced ones, you know, association chapter meetings in your marketplace, uh, venues, um, you know, essentially. And depending on what your sequence is, I mean, for example, you might, might be looking for, um, for a business orientation stuff. You might be looking for, and you know, the service groups, then you might be looking at all the places you touch the consumer, moms, parenting, seniors, health and wellness support groups, people that are suffering, um, you know, uh, marriage, uh, marriage and singles and, and divorced, um, whatever that category is. And then you might also be looking at spiritual unity, centers for spiritual living and faith faith. Incidentally, mm -hmm. all of those four is what our regional directories will bring you in your own market. But, you know, you can go on each of those sequences. So start locally. And if you're not yet confident on stage, there's a couple of ways to get confident. You can uh, join Toastmasters. You can join a, 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 a group. Um, we've got a couple of them that we like a lot, including Engaging Speakers or Powerful Women Today. Or, um, you, you know, there's a whole slew of them where you can actually improve your speaking skills as part of that group. Um, and then um, from there, you, um, if, if you want, if you really want to get more proficient, then you can also hire an independent, independent coach. Um, and so that is a, the, the fastest, more effective way to really scale up your speaking skills, help you define your presentation, help you um, figure out what kind of an offer make, figure out how to deliver that offer so it doesn't feel salesy. Um, all of those things, um, you know, a mentor or, or speaker coach can really help you with. Um, and um, and so that's really, you know, to get yourself proficient on stage. And if you're just going to go out and try it yourself, let me give you this one piece of advice. If you're sitting there thinking that the world is going to judge you and all these people are looking at you and thinking about you don't look right, you don't sound right, you don't deliver right, all of those kinds of things, get over it. Your audiences don't care about you. All they care about is, are you bringing valuable information to them? So if you will stand on that stage, take a deep breath and be in that place of service to them. Remember that you're there to support them. They need what you have and you are simply a conduit to deliver that information. Your butterfly should go away. I love that. I love that. Let your heart lead and follow God's breadcrumbs. <laughs> that and that was there was a lot of really juicy information in there. Um, so I I love that the way you presented the podcast is it's kind of like a dress rehearsal, right? We're exactly. getting the opportunity to speak more about what it is that we want to share that we are here to share with the world. Um, and do it in a way that's comfortable. I know um, when I did my podcast years ago, 
Uh, I loved the fact that it was just voice and and people couldn't see me. Um, and and I did, just like you said, I did go into Toastmasters and everything like that to support myself with being able to speak more clearly, a few less ums and ahs and that kind of thing. Um, um the uh, <laughs> uh, the local speaking, that makes a lot of sense. So looking at your different local, groups like the chambers and that kind of thing. I think that's a brilliant tip. And then bridging your way forward to where it is that you want to be. So now what I'm hearing is you not only have resources available for people who are in the earlier stages of their um, their businesses or their companies, but you also have a lot of stuff available for you know, people who are already established inside of their businesses to take it to that next level. One of the things we're most proud of, proud of is our new conference connections. And conference connections will give you up to 2,000 conferences every month that you can pick from and then fill out uh, calls for speaker forms or retain book for you to do that. And it, that makes it so much easier to have them all in one place. And we've got 20 different categories so and then subcategories so that you can really zero in on the ones that are right for you. And we are constantly adding, which is why it's a monthly subscription service built into our new membership program, Speaker Tunity members only. So and the benefits are not only do you get access to all of those individual conferences, but you're also going to get a speaker showcase so that bookers can come and find you. But you can also get a speaker tunity speaker resource center. So we've got we've got identified all of these different individuals who serve the speaker community. And so if you need a stylist, or you need a photographer, or a videographer, or um, you know somebody to teach you uh, the the business side of it, or speaker coaches, we're going to have 200 different experts in there. Now, just you know, we're talking about this here just before Memorial Weekend. You're going to be able to see this come the second week in June. We're not quite there yet, but we will be. And we encourage you to come on over and check out Speaker Tunity. You can go to speakertunity.com forward slash join, and you'll be able to see that um, when it's up and going. And you'll see our conferences there as well. And it, and the nice part about um, this is that you're, you, know, you get a choice of which of our subscription services that you really want to take. Conferences is one of them. Um, and then up from there, um, if you want to graduate into the higher levels, you get more of our products in one. But what's really great about it is it's, you know, you don't have to pick and choose and do a la carte. All of this stuff is in the, these different sequences and at a really, really affordable choice. You're starting at $47 a month. That's brilliant. And that that is a, a really great way to get started or, or and at least... Um, give yourself the opportunities for the dress rehearsals or, or the variety of different things that you really want to be able to access in order that you can be out there spreading the message that you're supposed to be spreading and doing it in a way that makes it just a little bit easier. So I get to access um, the team that you've created that they are in their zones of genius and I don't have to be doing this stuff. I really love that. Thank you. Well, we've got, I think we figure we're about 170,000 different speaker leads just in our database. And so what we've done is basically curated them. So they're right for whichever niche you're in. Mm -hmm. um, so I've got this fabulous team of, of about nine uh, that has been, culling the web for the last two years to find these speaking gigs and we keep it updated i mean every directory gets updated annually but we're always finding new stuff for example perfect example we just created a new um, speaker tunity specialty directory for the 3100 yoga centers in the united states you want to go and that's that takes speakers we didn't put them in there if they're just going there for yoga we put them in there if they take come some kind of speaker or presentation. So, you know, that takes a lot of research and effort. That's how we also put in all the spiritual centers in North America. Um, we have all the bookstores uh, for, you know, both the independents and Barnes and Nobles. 
So, you know, depending on what you're, who the audience is that you're trying to reach, especially in the heart-based side, we really got you covered over there. But we also really wanted to make sure that we had covered, you know, women's business meetings, entrepreneur meetings, um, you know, teachers, healthcare professionals, you know, th from that side of, uh, of the fence. And then all those different, we were talking about those different sequences, moms, parenting, seniors, health and wellness support group, military, LGBT, so that it's, you know, if this is your specialty, you're going to be able to have it. So that's really, that's really nice. So a lot of access to the direction that we are supposed to be going, but also um, you had mentioned the, the resources that are available. So if I'm, you know, in a particular area and I need that kind of support, like you said, you had stylists and mm -hmm. um, camera people and stuff like that, like that's really a robust <laughs> well, and, resource and with you we are inviting you know people in the community to come and submit themselves and again that'll be ready you know the second week of june um you know we we're just starting to build out build that out we're about to send it you know an email to our entire community but we welcome people that are on this on this um, pod, podcast to actually come and and join at some point so they're welcome mm -hmm submit themselves if they serve the speaker community. So it is not a closed group. We, we, we are very inclusive with everything that we do. I, and I can, and I can absolutely hear that. So when, when we're talking about speaking, I know one of the things that is pretty popular and people talk a lot about it is TEDx's. I've got a TEDx. I've been on TEDx X amount of times and that kind of thing. And it and it seems to be something that gives someone um, authority. Is that true? Is it a value for us to be looking in that direction? Absolutely. And here are the reasons. It's not just the authority. That is one major factor. Um, it's also visibility, the, uh, you know, the ability to be seen and heard by a much larger audience. Mm -hmm. um, you also get the benefit of, you can use it to get in the doors with other influencers. You can use it in your marketing. It'll get you more speaking gigs because it's the first thing that when you're going to send your proposal letter, see my, my uh, TEDx. Um, if you go viral, well, I mean, that's phenomenal, but it's a brilliant marketing tool that you can use to be sending to, you know, tell, tell your community about, there are just, uh, you know, I, I can list six or seven, but the fact is there are probably 20 benefits to a TEDx, but they're mm -hmm. not easy to get on. So the first thing is you need to know where they are. And so one of the things we did is we created a directory so that you can see what's in proximity to you. And the reason proximity is important is that most TEDx's would prefer to bring in local people. And the reason they want local people is because they do coaching programs and rehearsals. And they don't want people who fly in from a long way and either blow it off or get there late. They want somebody who they know will be there because they're local. Now, that it's not to say that you cannot pitch out of town or that they won't bring in out of town people. They just give preference to people that are local. So, so really, it's, it's really great when you can see what's in around you. The other thing is you really, um, you're going to be filling out uh, forms and print, and if you, you probably should be applying to lots of them, but they are by theme. So a lot of them, you have to make sure that whatever you're delivering matches the theme and keep in mind, you can't be commercial in this. This is really a showcase for you as a leader, expert, influencer. Uh, it's not an opportunity to sell. Um, you can reference your book, but that's about as sell salesy as you can get. Um, and so uh, and they may also ask you to do a video. Um, and so one of the things we're doing is somewhere in July, when we next update our directory, we're also going to have a training program on how to get booked on a TEDx. because you know, there are lots of nuances. And so I'm not even the expert on this. I went and got three other experts. And so we're going to make that available for folks uh, come, come, uh, come July. I love that. I love that. Um, okay. So 
I really, I'm going to go back to the, uh, back to the podcasts again, because I think, again, I think it's really important to make sure that we're, we're starting in a healthy and strong place to build towards the rest of it. And I love that you shared that. What is it? What are some of the things that we need to pay attention to in, in order to, um, you know, access the right podcasts or be better prepared to access them, give the podcasters what they need, that kind of thing. There's a couple of things you're going to need. The first is a really compelling pitch letter that gets them to say yes. Should be more than about a page and a half, but it speaks to the problem you solve, your human interest story, what's going on in the world today, something trendy, um, something uh, newsworthy. Um, it could be something around the holidays. It could be, um, you know, any other really compelling reason why they need to put you on the air. Um, how you're impacting lives massively, whatever the story is that's going to get them. That, that's called the hook. Um, and then your credentials, why you, and then what are you going to actually present on the air with some call outs about your listeners will learn the following things. Now, in addition to that, you may attach or you may send in lieu a podcast introductory sheet. That's the new hot thing today in the podcast world. It's a one pager, you know, a speaker one sheet is two pages, but a podcast introductory sheet is only one page, includes your bio, a couple of testimonials, preferably from other shows that have hosted you. And then um, four, three to five topics that you like to speak on. And so you can either send that alone with a little cover note saying, please consider me for your show. And here's this podcast sheet. By the way, we do help folks with those. Mm. Or you can send it as an attachment with the pitch letter or send your pitch letter on its own. Any three of those ways is the way in the door with a podcaster. And then once you get booked, you're going to want to send them a media kit. Um, the media kit isn't to be sent beforehand. It's when they actually say they're going to book you. And so you need to have uh, a main release on that that covers the topic you're doing. You need to have a full bio on you, then four to five paragraph on air int introduction they read when you come on the air, 20 questions you want to be asked when, and in the order you want to be asked them. And then when we do it, we include a, a, what they call a, a learn more page, all the information about how the public can engage with you. First, the book and where it can be found if there's a book involved, what your coaching programs, what your free gift are, what your other opt-ins, you know, uh, uh, upsells are, and then your social media links and your website. So you're forestalling them saying, can you send me this? Can you send me this? Can you send me this? When you put together a really good media kit and send that off with your, with a photo of you. And then they've got everything they need to promote you and, you know, help them promote what you're offering on, on their show. So um, those are really important things to have in order when you start going out and looking for podcasts. And, and you can find them by going to, you know, the, and looking for specific channels in your genre on iHeartRadio and Spotify and uh, Apple uh, on um, uh, 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 Apple, um, Apple Podcasts, but also lots of smaller what they call podcatchers. And then, of course, Obviously, we have some direct, you know, our, our speaker tutor radio insider and speaker tuning radio insider for business can short get that for you. But um, those are really great resources. you got to have your ducks in a row. And one more thing, if you are an author, I know that people think that, you know, this is a digital world. But the truth of the matter is podcasters today want a physical book. So make sure that you have enough physical books on hand. Don't try to send them one at a time out of um, Amazon have enough books uh, that you, on hand that you can just send to people when they ask for them. Don't make them make two weeks from the time it gets out of their offices. That makes a lot of sense. I, I know myself back in the day, I, I liked getting the PDFs, but I really did like getting the hard co cover ones because I was highlighting in them and flagging things that made sense to me and stuff like that. I had mentioned to you privately that I felt like I did everything wrong back in the day, but I had so much fun doing it because I literally did read a book a week preparing for those shows. I loved it. So when I, it, it makes sense to me that it's a value to give them um, to, cause then they, 
to me, the, the thought to me is, is that they feel valued too. And you're not just, it's, they're not just another checkbox on your marketing plan. Absolutely. And most of the time, they're so much more enthusiastic after having read your book than just working from the questions. That makes a lot of sense to me. So we are pretty much at the end of our time. We actually, we've gone over by six seconds here now. Um, so I want to make sure that our listeners, both inside of our Facebook group and on YouTube, have an opportunity to be able to connect with you. So can you share the best way to be able to connect with you? Absolutely. Um, you can, first of all, go to speakertunity.com to learn more about us. You can come over and uh, you can uh, reach me at Jackie at speakertunity.com. And starting in early June, you can look at speakertunity.com forward slash join to explore our membership program. Awesome. And I know we talked briefly about a little gift that you might have for our listeners. Exactly. So if you really want to kick off your speaking and get it going quickly, uh, I want to offer you a great training program called 10 Speaker Bookings in 10 Days. And if you go to speakertunity.com forward slash booking, you should be able to access it. And again, that's speakertunity.com forward slash booking, 10 Speaker Bookings in 10 Days. It'll be form a cascade of speaking opportunities for you if you follow this strategy. Perfect. Thank you so much for your time today, Jackie. I, I know I personally got a lot of value out of what you shared. And I know that our group members did and our, and our family over there on YouTube are going to get a huge amount of value from this. So thank you so much for your time. It was a joy to be here. Thank you, Velma. And, and I love the entrepreneur community. And I'm, I'm always greatly in support of all the work that you do. Thank you for the opportunity to be here. Thank you. And thank you to our listeners and our and our group members for coming and showing up today. The ones who showed up live today and the ones who are going to listen, make sure you hit uh, hashtag replay and tell us what you got out of this. I'm looking forward to seeing you all again next time and have a brilliant day.